Alabama's Transportation Department is now suspending the future use of a guardrail device that is located along roads we all drive on every day. As Local 15's Andrew Ramey reports, victims are blaming this device for causing injuries during crashes rather than preventing them. It's tonight's Reality Check. After five months of being in a medical coma, Lisa Antichinelli woke for the first time and learned she was now a paraplegic. My life has changed. I'm me, but I'm not me. Antichinelli, a diabetic, passed out driving near Dallas. Her cruise control set at 80. She slammed into a guardrail, which tore straight through her car and her. And they just had to slide me off the pole because it pulled a third of my body. It went, just opened up a third of my body. I can't wrap my mind around it. Antoginelli is now suing Trinity Industries. It manufactured the ET Plus NCAP, a popular model you see at the end of guardrails. I just want this to stop. I want the product to be made the way it was supposed to be made. That same model of guardrail in cap can be found all along Alabama roads. ALDOT estimates there's roughly 4,000 of these in the state. Right now it's taking inventory to see where they're all at. We found them in both the eastbound and westbound lanes of I-10, flagged in many cases already by ALDOT. Though some states like Virginia have said it will go ahead and pull the product off the roads, ALDOT says it's waiting for more testing to be done testing that was ordered by the Federal Highway Administration. We claim that they took a product that was working well, that they modified it, they modified it without an engineering reason to do so. In a separate lawsuit filed by attorney Stephen Lawrence, he claims Trinity deliberately failed to tell the government about a crucial design change, one that shrunk the end terminal from five inches to four inches. A University of Alabama Birmingham research engineer found recently that the design change means you are almost four times more likely to be involved in a fatal crash if you hit the guardrail in plate. The older version of the ET Plus worked like this, with the end terminal absorbing the shock and the guardrail ribboning away, as shown in this crash test. With the design change, Lawrence argues, the cap just breaks off and the rail comes straight through the car. The taxpayers thought they were buying one device. One device had been thoroughly tested, well designed, well thought out, and that would save lives. And instead, what the taxpayers got after spending millions and millions and millions of dollars is a product that will kill you instead. A jury recently agreed with Lawrence, saying Trinity defrauded the government and ordered the company to pay $175 million. Trinity is appealing. Antichinelli says the verdict is a step in the right direction. She's now making it her life goal to make sure this guardrail is taken off all roads. I just don't want any more people hurt. Andrea Ramey, Local 15 News. Well, Trinity denies any wrongdoing, but due to the litigation that's uh, about uh, all the company is saying right now is that uh, they are not guilty. Now we're getting closer to the